Guys, what's going on? It's the Muscle Motivator. And today I am coming to you excited because I'm doing my first Facebook Live interview. And man, is it teaching me a lesson right now. This is about the fifth time trying to get my guest to be able to join. Uh, but, you know, sometimes in life that happens. But I'm still super excited to be interviewing Mr. Brian Parody, and we will make this happen. It's going to be a great interview. So if you are joining for the first time, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the muscle motivator, and I am an empowerment and accountability coach. I am a guy who is going to be there. You say, I want to get this done. I'm going to be the guy that gives you the push to make it happen uh, because something that I've found very successful in my own goals and my own dreams is having other people behind me pushing me and holding me accountable uh, for what I say that I'm going to do and one of the great things about fitness that I've found in my personal journey is it creates that kind of environment where you say you're going to do it and then you don't really necessarily want to do it but as you get into it it becomes a habit and I know that's some something we will talk about here Let's see, who just joined? Add. All right, let's try this. I think we've got it going on. Okay, I'm not moving the camera. And we're wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. We are successful. All right, guys. So... We've got Mr. Brian Parody joining us, and Brian is a personal trainer and the creator of the Bones to Bulk program, and the reason I wanted to start doing these lives is to bring on change makers and influencers to bring you guys value, and I know that Brian is a person that brings extreme value in the world of fitness, goal setting, and anything in between. So what I want to talk about today is how do we go from skin and bones to getting those muscles we want, or how do we go somewhere in between because we're not all trying to bulk up. Uh, So let's get started by you explaining what bones to bulk means to you. So the Bones of Bulk program is kind of my own, stems out of my own personal journey. Um, I used to be a twig growing up and it took me a long time to figure out how to gain muscle mass. Um, I started working out and saw little results at all and so just was confused and kind of dived into the whole fitness realm uh, really started researching stuff, looking into stuff until I finally kind of figured out how to how to do that. And I think kind of the turning point was realizing how big a role nutrition played in all that. Yeah, I think that's something that when people start diving into becoming more healthy, uh, I think they all look at it from, okay, I'm going to get in the gym. And I'm just going to start lifting weights. I'm going to start training. And then we don't realize how much of an impact the food we put in our body plays. So as you were figuring that out, what was like one of the, the small steps that got you started? Like it started becoming a habit to pay attention to your nutrition. Um, so the thing that got me to really start paying attention to the nutrition is like I said, I I started lifting and I lifted for about a year and a half and just not getting results that I wanted. 
Um, and so that was kind of the turning point that was like, okay, I've got to figure out what in the world is going on because this isn't what I want. And I've been working my butt off, you know, with weights and stuff. So, so what is the answer? So that's when I really delved into the, to the food aspect of it and started realizing, you know, if, if I'm not feeding my muscles, they're not going to be able to grow because there's nothing there for them to grow with. Yeah. And, uh, you just started a podcast recently and your second show, you started talking about, I think it was three key things when it comes to nutrition. So can you break down the top three things for the nutrition and what they kind of mean for our bodies? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we basically every food that we eat is broken up into three categories, uh, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Um, No matter what you put in your body, it falls into one of those categories. And so our body needs a good mixture of the three from healthy resources. So it's very important to get a good balance of those from good sources. Um, You know, a a lot of different things get a bad rap. For instance, you know, fat, we tend to think of, okay, like French fries or (laughs) something from a fast food restaurant, but there are actually healthy fats out there that are really good for our bodies because our body needs a healthy layer of fat to surround and protect our organs and just for some different uh, hormonal issues. So, um, you know, healthy fats are really good and we get those kind of in the source of avocados or olive oil, you know, different things that are a more natural source. Um, As far as the protein goes, um, obviously the first thing that we always think of is meat, but there are a lot of different sources of protein, uh, meat being one of them, but usually they are kind of more um, animal products. Um, For instance, eggs or milk or, you know, lean meats like turkey or chicken or fish. Um, But we can also get proteins from sources like beans uh, are a great source. Um, And then our third category is carbohydrates, which is kind of a a bad word, I feel like, (laughs) lately in the fitness world. Uh, Everybody's all about the keto diet and avoiding carbs. And there are a lot of bad carbs out there. You know, going and grabbing Domino's and Lucky Charms are not good carbs, so they're not going to do anything for you. Um, but there are a lot of good sources of carbs. For instance, you know, whole wheat breads, whole wheat pastas, things like uh, brown rice or wild rice. You know, there are really good sources of carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are really our primary fuel source. Um, our body takes those and basically converts it into energy. It's what gives us the energy to do everything we do in a day. And carbohydrates are our body's first go-to for that. So it's, uh, it's really important that we, that we get those in. Um, and, you know, proteins, they're, they, they do a lot of things for us. Yes, you know, we think of, well, you got to down protein to, to build muscle, but protein is so important for the way our cells even communicate with each other. So everything plays such a vital role in our body when it comes to the, the, the three main ingredients that we put in, which, again, is the proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, So who that's watching this has thought about their fats and been like, okay, I'm just going to go to McDonald's and have a Big Mac. I know I've been there for sure. (laughs) Um, Quick and easy, but like you said, not necessarily the best thing for us. Um, Right, right. But I think, too, one thing – Uh, that I've noticed in my own fitness journey is we all start somewhere, right? We all start maybe at that, that skin and bones phase, or we start on the other end and we got to figure out what's, um, Mm -hmm. what is that thing that's going to be the, the change for us that gets us, going in the direction of I know I need to do this and now I'm actually taking action to do it so when you kind of think about someone who's getting ready to start their fitness and health journey what would be one small step that somebody could get started with 
So, so, you know, yeah, I, I, like you said, you know, we all start at different places. We all just, you know, people tend to look at people who are, you know, kind of what their goal is and think, oh, it must be easy for them. And it's, it's not easy for anybody. You know, we all had that, that day one, that first year of, of just going through crap to try to get to our goals. Um, so as far as starting off, just kind of know going in that, A, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have times when you want to give in to sleeping in and not going to the gym or just going and eating crap all day long. You're, you're going to have those cravings, and that's normal. You're not, you know, in the wrong for feeling that way. We've all been there. We all have those days. I still have those days. Um, some days I'm just like, screw it. I don't want to get up when my alarm goes off. I want to go back to bed. Um, and just kind of know that those days are going to be there. But the, I think the biggest thing is get in a, a healthy routine. Um, I can't tell you how much uh, routine helps me stay on track with things. You know, motivation is good and we need motivation, but motivation is kind of like a constant fuel source. We have, we constantly use it up and then our tanks empty. And so we can't always rely on motivation solely. Um, so building like a healthy routine and habit is going to be so crucial for sticking with it. Um, and basically kind of what I mean by that is, you know, let's say it works best for you to go to the gym when you get off work and you go to the gym, you know, on your way home, you know, make that a habit, you know, whatever it takes, get to the gym after work, have your gym bag in the car. So you don't have an excuse to go home and sit on the couch and turn on the TV and, and not go, you know, um, if you're going first thing in the morning, have your clothes laid out, set your alarm and put your phone, you know, in the other room really loud so that you have to get up and can't just reach out of bed and, and turn it off. So just small things that will help build those routines and habits that will carry you really far in the long run. Yeah, I was having a and, and with food is oh, also... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, uh, go ahead. I, I was saying... I was actually having this conversation about habits with my mom the other day. She always thinks that uh, she's coming home from work and I just leave because she came home. And I'm like, it's just, I built that habit of that's the time that I go to the gym. And having that blocked off as that time has really helped me. Um, and then I would ask anybody who's watching what areas have you seen success when you've built some sort of habit that you do daily, whether it's fitness or other, other uh, parts of your life? For me personally? Uh, yeah, you can, you can answer. Are there other uh, things that you use where you've developed a habit that's outside of fitness? Um, man, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like everything I do is, is as at this point out of habit and routine, you can ask my wife, I drive her crazy with, <laughs> uh, with my routines, but, um, <laughs> like I can't relax until my routines are done. And, and sometimes it's a bad thing, but, um, you know, Another thing that I always recommend with starting out is, you know, it's kind of overwhelming when you look at all the bad foods that you eat and you're kind of like, how in the world am I going to give all this stuff up? Yeah. Um, you know, eliminate one a week. You don't have to necessarily just jump in cold turkey. Um, eliminate one a week. And by the end of several months, I mean, just think about how many foods you're going to end up getting rid of. So, you know, one week, you know what, I'm not going to drink soda, replace it with water and start there. Um, you know, week two, I'm going to cut out sugar and replace it with a healthier snack option, whether it's, you know, a healthy granola bar or some mixed nuts or just anything, but, you know, take away something bad, replace it with something so that you have a go-to when you do have those cravings and then kind of just slowly build your, your no-no list and <laughs> also your good list so that you're constantly doing in and out. And it's kind of a slow progression. It doesn't have to all be overnight. Yeah, it's like, um, I've heard you talk about this too before. So it's like you're using your Legos and you are, you're building what you want to build, right? So um, 
and something with the no-no list, the way that I kind of like to look at that is kind of flipping it on its head and not saying that, hey, I'm not allowed to, to have this, but going to that replacement and saying, I am choosing to drink water because it is going to be healthier for me in the long run and not I'm not allowing myself to have right, soda. Right. So I think I think it's it's good to talk about it's a progression. Everything in fitness is a progression. And yeah, absolutely. Um so if if you were to break down the uh the training system we had a question that came up about about scheduling i think you answered that just try and make it fit what works best for you and the diet would you say if we are talking to somebody who's coming into this brand new that it it really is about figuring out what works for you yeah, absolutely. I mean, nobody's schedule is the same. Um, you know, I know some people who it, it works best for them. You know, Anthony just chimed in a minute ago. It, you know, it works best for him to to work out in the morning so that he has his evenings with his family free. And and I get that. And, um, you know, I'm the same way. I go first thing in the morning before anybody's up and, and, and I'm home before anybody's up. So, you know, it, it works out good for me, but not everybody that, you know, I know some people where their schedule, it allows them better to work out in the evening. So there's not a right or wrong, as long as it's a consistent routine for you. Um, and kind of the same goes for food. You know, what, what works for me may not work for someone else, but that doesn't necessarily make what they're doing wrong. You know, find the groove that works for you. Um, you know, if you're trying to replace something with a healthier option and you like, I don't know, oranges, you know, go eat, eat a ton of oranges, you know, I may not go to an orange for a, for an alternative snack, but that doesn't mean that you can't, you know, it's, it's finding that groove that works for you. Everybody's got their own, you know, uniqueness to them. So, so yeah, I don't think there's a one size fits all with it. I think it's just a matter of, you know, building those healthy routines and habits, regardless of, you know, when it is or what it looks like to them. Because it's it's got to be, it's got to fit into their life. Otherwise, it's not going to be something that's maintainable. Yeah, you're going to sit there and say, oh, I really don't want to do this. And the more we think about that, the more it's going to become a reality. Because I truly believe that what we think about becomes what we create. And um, oh, absolutely. yeah, I think that that's another thing with fitness, right? A lot of it's the mind over what's actually happening in the gym, right? We can do a lot more than we necessarily think is possible in the moment, but it just takes that the habit and the practice to realize uh, what right. we're capable of. Um, so why don't you tell the people watching – where they can find you, how they can connect with you. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I can actually post, um, you know, come to my personal page. I post a ton of stuff on Facebook, um, just on my personal page. Feel free to shoot me a friend request. Um, dealing with fitness stuff. I mean, I, I'm kind of consumed by it. So li literally everything you're going to see from me is most of the time that unless my wife hacks my Facebook account and posts something crazy, but, um, uh, you can find me at bones to bulk .com. Um, That's kind of a go-to resource. I've got all my links on there. Um, I do have, you know, links out to my blog, my YouTube channel. Um, as you kind of mentioned earlier, I just launched a podcast uh, last week. So we've got that going on pretty much your major platforms, iTunes and everything. So, um, and the, the website's a great go-to. All the links are from there and you can find everything um, on there. So bones to bulk .com is the best spot. Or again, Facebook, if you just want to you know, chat with me, hit me up on there. Awesome. We'll uh, also get that posted into this thread when we're done. Um, and I've got okay, one final question for you. So 
my my platform is really about the the empowerment of individuals and creating the uh the life you want through more positive self-talk and uh knowing what's possible for you and i really believe that no label defines any of us so what does no label defines me mean to you Man, um, a lot. <laughs> I, I love what you do. I mean, you're, you're such a motivation to me just to, you know, on days when I feel lazy and, um, you know, like I don't want to do something and then I'll see something you post. I'm like, dang, like I need to get on top of things. So, <laughs> um, you know, just breaking out of the stereotypes, you know, fitness can be a very um, personal thing to a lot of people. You know, it comes a lot of times with, insecurity or shame or just kind of depending on where someone's at so kind of owning that like you know regardless of what someone has labeled you as what somebody has said to you mean comments you know none of that defines you uh, you like you are in charge of you and anything is possible regardless of if somebody's told you otherwise or somebody said you can't do it like just use that as fuel to show them that you can because you know literally you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it. Like I truly believe that, you know, regardless of any obstacles or hurdles or crap that people have thrown at you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think I'm, I'm with you on that. I, I truly believe that uh, it's about creating what you want to create and not letting anyone else limit you. Uh, so if you're watching mm -hmm. this, go ahead and comment what it means to you down below so we can see what's going on and if you've asked any questions during this i will get to the comments and i will answer if it hasn't been answered in the live cast already uh thanks everybody for watching and make sure and also let me know what else you guys would like to see as we move forward with this new platform for me and the muscle motivator who do you want to see on the show what do you want to talk about just leave a comment below Thanks, everybody, for watching, and thanks, Brian, for being on. Hey, thanks for having me, man. It was a blast. Yeah.